Hey everybody, welcome back. I am doing some ASFAB questions for test preparation. Again, it's not just for ASFAB, you really can use these for a lot of different possibilities like the GED test or you know, just practicing and brushing up for different areas that you are struggling with. So let me know in the comments why you're here and what brought you into looking at this video. So the question is saying one bag of um, contains six pieces of candy, another bag contains eight pieces, and then the third bag contains 16 pieces. What's the average number of pieces of the candy in a single bag? And you have your four options to choose from. So when you're taking a look at something like this, I'm just gonna give you the answers here so that you can see them. So we are looking at thinking about things just logically. So if you're looking at something like that, you're, this is an average question. So you're trying to find out the average price of what we're looking, or the average number of contained pieces. So we had six pieces to start, and then we had another one that has eight pieces. And then we also have the last one that has 16 pieces. So right off the bat, if I'm trying to figure out an average, averaging is what is the option um, that typically you would see is a normal number. Now, right off of the bat, you can probably guess that 30 would not be an option because it's not even in the realm of the three sets of data pieces that we have. It's way too high. Now, then you're left with these three other pieces. Two of those numbers obviously are given in our problem. So if you're stuck with this, you wouldn't really necessarily know where to go. But again, when you're looking at this, you're just trying to find the average. So we take all the terms that we have. So the number of pieces in each of our bags, we're gonna take them, we're gonna add them together, and then we're gonna divide by how many of them that there were. So in this case, there were three bags, so we're gonna divide that by three, and we're gonna find out at average. When I add all of these three together, I end up with 30, and so I have an answer of 30 up here. We're gonna divide that by three, and 30 divided by three. Nice, easy work here. You get an average of 10. So 10 would be the average that I would have. So when you're looking at your options, does it make sense? Sure, it makes sense, because if you're thinking about two of those bags being a little bit lower, but that 16 um, pieces of candy in that third bag makes it a little bit higher. So it's gonna be a little bit higher than what you had originally. And so D, and B and A would all be non-answers, while C would be your correct one. Again, let me know in the comments if this has helped and what tests you may be studying for coming up. And if you want more questions like these, you can find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at UN Algebra. All these are gonna be located in the ASFAB test preparation section.